What's up guys, Quezzy here, bringing you guys another tutorial. This time I'm going to be showing you this cool sound wave texture effect thing that looks cool on wallpapers and stuff like that. So yeah. Uh, anyway, this is pretty easy. It looks fairly complex now that I'm looking at it, but uh, I made this from scratch. This like took me like 20, 30 minutes probably. Um, I was watching Parks and Recreation at the same time this so I was slightly distracted so it might have taken a little, little bit longer than that but this tutorial probably should not be too terribly long but this is the effect we're gonna get and it doesn't take that long uh, like I just fucking said oh my gosh uh, but anyway you wanna go to Photoshop create a new document and my computer is gonna be very slow so I apologize for that uh, I'm gonna go 1280 by 720 72 resolution you can make it bigger if you want uh, depending on what you're doing uh, but for my computer's sake, I gotta keep it small. Um, so I'm gonna double click the background layer to unlock it. Control I to make the background black. And create, or go down here to the line tool, which if for you, you it might be a rectangle tool or any of these other options, but you wanna click and hold and go to the line. Uh, make sure your fill is white and you just wanna click from one side, hold shift, go to the other side. Boom. Then you want to right click, rasterize layer. And my computer's lagging really bad. You can't tell it, but like my mouse is way behind. It's so annoying. Um, and then we're going to go to image, image rotation, 90 degrees clockwise. Duplicate that shape layer by hitting Control J. Go to filter, stylize, wind. Oh my god, this is awful. Make sure your direction's from the right. Keep the method wind and click OK. Then select the other shape. Go to filter, stylize. Oh my gosh, come on. Wind from the left. Boom. And then we want to go back to image, image rotation, and then 90 degrees counterclockwise. So we're back to our original document and we can just go to that top layer and merge that down um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and click control T on that layer hold shift and alt click the top uh, handle and just drag up like that click enter that's basically what we're gonna be working with uh, not sure if I really like that white stripe in the middle but it, it'll do uh, and then we're gonna control J to duplicate that Go to the bottom layer, go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and put it put it fairly high. I'm gonna go like 123. That works. And I'm gonna go control T and just kind of do the same thing, shift and alt, make it a little bit bigger. And then uh, that should be good for now. Uh, now I'm gonna go to the bottommost layer, so our black background layer, create a new layer if it wants to load there we go and then go to filter render oh my gosh come on clouds and then we want to duplicate that set the bottom one to screen and like three percent go to the top one go to filter stylize find edges control i and then set that to screen and about three percent as well Maybe increase the other one's opacity just a bit. That might be too much. Let's go five. That works. There we go. Now I'm going to go to the top layer, create a new layer, go to the My Bucket tool, go to Gradient, and I'm just going to use these colors here, uh, which is this gradient pattern. And I'm going to click, hold shift, and go straight across. Boom. Make that layer color. Now it's colorized, pretty sweet. Um, and let's go back to the original uh, sound wave effect, which I'm gonna call sound wave, just so I know that's it. Um, oh, eyes are getting a little dry from contacts. I'm gonna duplicate that again, put it below the sound wave, go to filter, distort, wave, I'm just gonna go ahead and click OK. 
that that's fine right there I don't even care um, and I'm gonna control T and do this little thing again shift and alt and drag this up as far as you want that's about good I want it to cover like the whole document go to your eraser tool or you could create a uh, clipping mask but I'm just gonna go ahead and do the eraser tool if it ever wants to load this is just awful oh my gosh come on there we go and I'm just gonna erase the inner line here and then just sort of randomly erase like so and I'm gonna decrease the opacity of that like some something like that that works then I'm gonna go back to that sound wave layer control J duplicate it again put it below the original sound wave go to filter Distort, oh my gosh, come on mouse, work with me. Wave, this time for type, we want to do a triangle. Click OK. And then we're going to Control T. Extend it up a bit. And then we're going to do filter, blur, motion blur. And then you want to get it on an angle like this. Uh, any angle works like it doesn't have to be this one it could be like that doesn't really matter and then I'm just gonna go ahead and decrease that opacity oh man my nose really itches I apologize uh, and then go back to the original sound wave control J again and come on Jeez. and we're gonna put it below the sound wave once more Distort. Come on, come on, mouse. I'm just gonna use a trackpad. Jeez. Uh, go to wave again. Go back to sign, and this time we're gonna increase the amplitude. Click OK, and then same thing with the blur. Blur. Motion blur. Click OK. Decrease the opacity a bit. Control J, duplicate it, extend it down, extend it over, hit enter, decrease the opacity, boom, there you go. Now let's go on top of the sound wave, create a new layer, go to our brush tool, make sure we have white selected, and now we're just going to do like three points on this line here. Like that, so let's put that on overlay. Let's create another layer. Make this one a bit bigger, right in the middle. Boom. Put that on overlay. Decrease that one a little bit in the opacity. And voila, there we go. That's pretty good looking uh, sound wave. But now let's go to the bottom most layer, actually, the, I consider these three the bottom layers and this is just the top of the bottom if you know what I mean so you want to go to that layer create a new layer make sure we're still on the brush and you might not have this brush but you can google like number effect or some I don't really know what to call it come on it's basically this brush with a bunch of zeros and ones and I'm just gonna put that there control T bring that on over and I don't know, set this to overlay maybe, does that work? Yeah, that works. Decrease the opacity a tad. Looks fine. All right. So that's basically the that done, that step. Like this is fine, you could be done there if you want. But I'm gonna take it up a notch and I'm gonna select all of this, put it in a group and I'm actually going to add a little bit of a color correction right now. So I'm going to go to my effects thingies here. I don't, I never know what to really call them, honestly. Uh, let's go to curves and just add a bit of this little action going on. Just a tad, that works. And then let's go to hue and saturation. 
And I'm just gonna bump up the saturation just so we get a little more vibrance and actually it's not vibrance, it's saturation, but uh, just so it makes it pop a little more. And I'm just gonna change the hue to something a little different. Boom, like that, it's pretty neat. And this group, I'm gonna control J to duplicate it, right click, merge. And then I'm gonna control J just to have that as a copy just in case we go wrong. And go to filter, distort, spherize. And I'm gonna go like 65 ish, somewhere in there. Click OK. That's pretty good. I'm gonna control T now and bring it in slightly. Right about there works. Go back in. Control J, let's go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. This time we're just gonna roll with two. Click OK, go to your eraser and just kind of erase the main little part. You can keep a little bit of blur there if you want, but for the most part I get it all gone. I'm gonna right click merge that down. Let's go control J again, let's go to filter, distort, wave. Bring down the amplitude so it's not too crazy. Click OK. And now we can play with some of these effects. So if you want, you can just scroll through them until something cheeky happens. That's pretty cheeky. I like that lighting. Um, it'd be nice if my computer just worked half decently. Like, gee, gee, buzz. Alright, I think I like lighting the best, so I'm gonna go just stick with that. And then I'm gonna erase parts of it in here. And then decrease the opacity just a bit, just a tad there. Right click, merge that down. And uh, there was kind of a. Let me see, can I pull this up real quick? There was like this in here kind of got like wavy like here. I'm not exactly sure how I did that. Like I tried to recreate it and it's something it had to do with the wave effect, but I don't know if it was the settings I had on the time, but I just haven't been able to recreate that very well. But I'm just gonna go ahead and merge this down because it seems a lot easier. I'm gonna control J and this should be the final step then. Or the second last step I guess. And we're gonna go to pixelate mesotint and actually I need to do one step thing just one step first go to image rotation 90 degrees clockwise then filter pixelate mesotint long lines click OK maybe this is actually where the effect comes in I'm not sure um, and let's go back to the original so rotate it counterclockwise and uh, I don't know why I put it on color dodge right there. Oh, maybe that's what I, I do. Yeah, maybe that's the effect. Something like that. All right, yeah, that works pretty well. I don't know if color dodge is what I was using. Maybe, yeah, maybe it was just screen linear dodge, maybe. I think that works better. So yeah, there we go. And I'm just gonna go ahead, merge that down, see if that affects anything. Nope, we're good. Control J one more time. Let's filter, sharpen, sharpen more. Get a little pop, there we go, that's what I like. Decrease it a little bit so it's not too much. And let's see if we can find a better, even better color scheme. I like this blue. Boom, there we go sound wave effect I know I'm a little mom tones like 12 midnight close to no 11 whatever uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoy it I hope you guys learned something hope it wasn't too terribly long uh, and boring uh, but it's a cool effect it looks cool looks neat thank you guys for watching peace